Today in this video, let's talk about using an indoor plumbing pipe for the outdoors. Now indoors, every four feet we have a hanger to hold up PVC Schedule 40. The reason being is it weighs a lot. And when it's full of water, it's really, really heavy. Now, if you don't have a hanger every four feet, PVC will form a belly. We're gonna get into all these details in this video and more. But one thing for sure, it's hard to put a hanger on PVC Schedule 40 every four feet. I'm going to run a camera in a still working downspout that's four inch PVC Schedule 40. Right away I see a stress crack, but water's still going to flow. Now, one thing about PVC Schedule 40, it's white, so you can see the cracks. Dirt starts to migrate and find its way in between the two pieces of PVC. All right, so here we have a couple of cracks starting to spread out. That's how you end up with a lot of dirt filling the pipe. Okay, so the homeowner felt that this hadn't been working as well as it once did, and it's only a few years old. So this is about normal for three-year-old PVC Schedule 40 outdoors. That was a bell right there. That was a connection point. So I'm running a camera for you guys, and I'm showing you what I already know because I've been inside a thousand, thousands and thousands of these PVC downspouts. So I'm going to run the camera in the shade here. Hopefully we can get a good enough picture so that you guys can see exactly what's going on. So even though it's still flowing water and it seems to have problems during the harder rains, you can see that this pipe is fractured. It's fractured in many areas. Now, when a PVC pipe starts getting multiple cracks and they're parallel with one another, that's a problem. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration here. We're going to take a piece of 4-inch PVC, Schedule 40, and we're going to take the same length corrugated pipe, 4-inch single wall corrugated pipe. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them in a lake. Just a quick little demonstration to show you the differences between these two pipes to help better understand them for indoor use versus outdoor. Now I'm going to put this PVC Schedule 40, I'm just going to put it right in a lake. And it'll fill full of water and we're going to see what it's going to do. All right, it sinks like a brick and it just starts rolling down into the lake because of the momentum, because of its weight. All right, so that that's pretty heavy. You can see why you need a hanger indoors every four feet. All right, so here's the corrugated pipe. It's filling up. We got our high octane solid, no holes. It's full of water, completely full of water and it's buoyant. It's lighter than the water. It's actually hundreds, hundreds of times lighter than PVC Schedule 40. What a difference between these two materials. So the mighty, mighty PVC Schedule 40 that's ideal for indoor plumbing when you have a hanger every four feet suddenly doesn't look so good outdoors. We don't have ways every four feet to hang PVC. What's even worse is when there's a low spot in the yard and it's really wet or a leaky sprinkler or it's wetter around the sprinkler head that's where you're going to get a belly because this pvc schedule 40 is so heavy boy you can see the cracks you can see the crack at that connection point that's a deep bell connection point we got parallel cracks and that is going to result in a collapse when you start getting parallel cracks like that in a downspout drain pipe of any kind outdoors see this doesn't have any any way to hang it so we're going to get more into that of course but boy you can really see the cracks uh, they're forking off so this pipe has been just failing and failing and failing everywhere now pvc uniquely will spider like this and it'll hold together you're going to have dirt migrate between the pvc material that's why these cracks show up so well, because there's dirt between the PVC pieces. 
So you can see the dirt fills in the crack, really makes it easy to see all the areas that have been stressed. This really, really hard material collapse under its own weight in a lot of cases. We don't have too bad a picture for you guys. You can see some fine cracks and some deeper cracks. This pipe doesn't have long to go, you know, before it's just completely rendered useless for downspout drainage. That's what it's been doing for the last uh, two and a half years, downspout drainage. Boy, you can really see the spider cracks. The stress cracks are everywhere. I took 60 feet of four inch PVC schedule 40. You can see I actually have the forks a little on an angle here. I have the 10 foot sections and I put them together. This is the deep bell. This is what I prefer. So this is four inch PVC schedule 40. You can see under its own weight, the sag you have. I have a skid loader on each end. I just pulled these right off of our PVC pile so that I can do this demonstration because I've been meaning to do this for you guys. So if the yard has an area that's wetter than some of the areas around it, PVC does this because you don't have hangers in your yard. What's a hanger? You can't hang PVC like you can inside your house. Approximately every five feet, you have hangers indoors holding this stuff so that it's straight. This weighs so much, PVC Schedule 40 weighs so much, that anywhere you have a sprinkler leak or a low spot in the yard that just gets so wet and saturated that it, it the subsoils just are not as stable, you get this. And what happens when you get a belly, you got water coming down the line, water gets trapped in this belly, and now water no longer can flow. It hits this wall of water that's down in this belly, and you're done. Now, corrugated pipe is lighter than water. It's buoyant. It'll actually float on water. It's not nearly as heavy. The only way corrugated pipe ends up with a belly in it is if the installer installed it with a belly in it. So I'm telling you, if your trench has a flat bottom, corrugated pipe will never end up with a belly in it. PVC always will for this very reason. There's 60 feet of PVC skid loader to skid loader now i'm sure we're close to a breaking point or fractures stress fractures you know we're gonna when you get to the stress fractures and cracks throughout this we may even have some already i don't know because i you know i obviously wanted to take this i wanted to take this all the way man like look i wanted to pick it up off the ground and show you just how much 60 feet a four inch PVC schedule 40 will actually flex for a belly. Look at that. It's just absolutely crazy. So yeah, the material is brittle. The material is definitely under a lot of stress right now. I'm sure there's stress cracks and I'm sure we're really close to a breaking point with this, but I hope that the demonstration served its purpose as an educational piece. Hopefully you guys have better understanding why PVC is so prone to bellies. Okay, so another thing that I understand about PVC Schedule 40, and this is something that you don't get inside a home. When there is a sharp rock and the point is against the PVC Schedule 40, and there's some sort of force applied, maybe there's a car that drove over it, lawnmower it's hard to say boy look at all the cracks look at all the stress cracks so that point that really sharp point on a stone will cause one of these cracks if there's any sagging from an area being saturated well you can tell the dirt that's filling those cracks it, it makes them more visible so as we travel down this downspout line this is a pretty long run you know, the homeowner, they wanted the water, you know, 30 feet away from the house. Boy, look at these cracks really starting to open up. You know, now PVC, when you're gluing it together with the fittings, it does help hold it together for sure. You know, when it's all cracked like this, 
you know, it's, it's pretty wild, actually, that it can kind of maintain its shape through this kind of abuse. So you have no hangers. You have these outside forces, these sharp points that cause this cracking. And if you're in the north, well, when you have freeze-up, you're really in trouble. This material doesn't expand. This is another joint, another joint at the bell. So you can see where that was cracked. There, there's another joint at the bell right there. There's a crack. So this pipe has been under a lot of stress, you know, these past couple of years. And it's really starting to show its wear. If it was indoors and it was on, you know, say a ceiling running across uh, joists with uh, hangers every four feet, it wouldn't have all these uh, forces. You know, that's the problem, all these forces. Okay, so now we have some... We have some cracks that are big enough to where this pipe is starting to fill up. You can see that there is there is a lot of dirt. Now the camera has spun. You know, we are upside down. Is just the way it is. But we at least get to see what's going on inside this pipe. We got an LED light shining, you know, lighting it up. There is a lot of dirt. No wonder the performance has been compromised. So probably there were parallel cracks that were pretty close to one another. And then, you know, they ended up meeting, you know, like they Y together. Then you have a piece completely come, you know, out of its place. And then you end up with all this dirt. Yeah, it's pretty getting pretty bad. So I can see why this this pipe is you know right at the uh, the end. You know, we're going to remove this pipe and hopefully I can video that. Look at that crack right there. Look at that. So you got that big crack and it's you know really showing up because there's dirt, you know, that's starting to bleed into the pipe through the crack. But again, outdoor use PVC is under so many different stresses. Indoors, it's a very controlled environment. There's no cars driving over top of it. You can bang it with a ladder and it's not going to hurt it. It's great indoors. It really, that's where it was meant to be and that's where it shines. Yeah, this pipe, this pipe has several parallel cracks in it. A lot of, lot of stress points, a lot of areas soon to fail, you know, some already failing. And if this was corrugated pipe, no problems. No problems, no cracks, no bellies, because as long as the installer installs it properly, you don't have this density of lead. You don't have this product that weighs so, so much that it sags. Now, here's something to think about. When you're hooked up to your house... Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Here's another connection point at the bell. Look at that. More cracks. So when you hook PVC up to your house, whether you glue it to your house or whether you screw it to your house and fasten it to your house, and then you take it to, a, a, say, a city curb, think about what I just said, a cement city curb. What do you end up with? Man, look at the mess. Look at that mess. Wow. You can see all the cracks are forked off. Yeah, this is in really bad shape. So if you're connected to the curb because you cemented your PVC pipe discharge at the curb, that doesn't sag, right? That don't settle. We know that's a good point to anchor it to. Then it's anchored to the house. But what about the distance in between? As soon as you get a belly, you're done. Look at this. What a mess. What a mess. Look at these cracks. So you can have this going on unknowing and trust me because I tear them out all the time and that's why I took the time to do this for you take our camera put it through show you what we find and what we see all the time look at all the points of failure I mean PVC I'll tell you I'll use it for a raceway I'll take a six inch and I'll you know use it as a sleeve and then I'll just put my four inch through it. If I know there's gonna be like semi trucks driving over it, I really like, 
I really like Boffman Tile Company's six inch virgin yellow for driveway applications. We drive our trucks all over that stuff and our equipment. Look at that. So this pipe's in really, really bad shape. As you can see, we have to come in, unearth this, and replace this before there's failure. And then that's just going to cause problems for the homeowner. All right. So again, picture this. You have, say, a, a city curb. You took your PVC Schedule 40 to a discharge location, and you're coming out a concrete curb. So one skid loader is representing that. The other skid loader is representing where you have it fastened, whether it's to an outdoor sump pump system or fastened to the house. But with no hangers, what is to prevent the sag? If you take PVC Schedule 40, as heavy as it is, and you lay it in mud, it will sink. Now, if you have a 60-foot run like this one, which that really isn't that far, 60 feet. I mean, discharge lines are 100, 150 feet. And you have it fixed at the outdoor sump pit, and then you have it fixed at the street curb. What's going to prevent it from sinking in you know, saturated soils like this, where you end up with a belly and, at some point, a line that just no longer works? These are all the problems that I see with PVC Schedule 40 4-inch outdoors it's a superior product on the indoors, but not for the out.